In this video, we will focus on understanding Charge.js objects. Because when you work with Charge.js, you might work with different objects. However, objects are very, very basic and are just basic JavaScript. So let's start to explore with this. To do this, what we're going to do here is we're going down here on, make sure you go to Charge.js uh, 3.com on getting started. And then in here, we have a chunk of code. Copy this chunk of code, and if you would like to understand this code, please check out the video above here. And then what we're going to do is here, I'm going to just put it here below. And then once we did that, I'm going to cut out this title and move it in here. All right. So once I did that, save this, and then refresh. So this is a very simple video, but this will be important to understand. So what we're going to do here is, here we have these objects here. And these objects all have a certain command, or they all relate to something in the Charge.js. Of course, what we can do, because this is just basic JavaScript objects, we can create certain items in here, which is very familiar if you've seen the data structures related video. And I will make sure the link will be popping up later on at the end of the video. You'll see it as well. So imagine here, we can say here, we say here a new object name, we can just give it a name of Hello object, very straightforward, nothing fancy. And then in here, new weekly sales, for example. Weekly uh, of sales, I guess should be weekly sales. This is probably not the right term. All right, so you can see here, once we have this, make sure you have a comma here. And if you save this, refresh, nothing happens. However, if I go now and add up here the console log, you will see something interesting. So in the console log, we're going to pinpoint this specific object item or namespace. So how do we do this? Well, we go here for my chart dot config dot, and then we go here, which is in the data, and then from the data we go to data set. So this is data set index zero, and then we grab here the hello object. So we say here config dot data dot data set index zero dot and then the name was hello object. So you can just copy this and save this semicolon here, save. And once we refresh and open up our developer tab, you can see here now we get a new weekly sales in here, which is specifically from the hello object namespace. So what we can do as well is here, of course we cannot, this is very important. You cannot replace labels with this one here because that might give you an error unless you have a different structure on it so that Charge.js can read it. Because right now, this is just a unknown namespace here that has no relationship to anything else. And what we can do with that is to copy this. For example, we're going to put it in here. And now what will happen is now it becomes an array. So if I refresh now, we can see here we have an array of seven items in all the days of the weeks. And what we could do as well is we can just specifically pinpoint one item. Let's say we want the fifth index, or sorry, the, uh, the uh, uh, index number five, which would be the, the sixth element. So save that, refresh. Now you can see that the sixth element, which is correct, is Saturday, because this is zero, one, two, three, four, five. As you can see with this, you can start to play around with it. Because with this as well, you could put in another data set, adding more items in here, but of course you could do it anywhere as well. Of course, they will not have any relationship to anything in Charge.js because they are not a written command that the Charge.js uh, library can acknowledge or see. So this is very important. However, you could do all kinds of options with that eventually. So this is maybe a tiny video, but to understand this, this was quite useful if you're going deeper, especially if you're going to understand data structures. Data structures here will break it down with different items, and I highly recommend you to watch this video because here you create your own unique data structure namespace, and that will be written or read by Charge.js itself. 